restoration. The smoke, remember the smoke or the odor is the prayer of the saints. Are you following me? Yeah. Now the Bible says to us, he put fire inside and cast and, yeah, and cast it into the earth. And when it lands the earth, there are voices, thunderings, lightnings, and earthquake. Are you following now? Yes, now remember, the prayer is like smoke or odor. So whenever you're praying now, your prayer has odor. If there is sin inside, the odor will not smell well. Uh, see this. God will say, <laughs> Gabriel, spray perfume here. <laughs> 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 no, that's the truth. God, to check. What did they smell there? It's the, the prayer of brother. God said, please pay for you. <laughs> because the guy is a thief. Not thief the guy. <laughs> but when God says, done, the angel goes, packs fire. That's why when you pray and say, God, that answered by fire, let him be my. It is very scriptural. It's in the Bible. If you say, Father, answer by fire. Answer. It is very biblical. Because when God commands the angel to put fire, why? Because there are princes in different regions that stop people from getting answer. When it comes with fire, the prince will disappear. And the answer will land. Every prayer you are praying, let the answer come by fire. Did you understand that? Huh? So as it's coming by fire, the demon said, Chai! They tell no, you, see how could they come? I beg, I don't channel so. They just disappear. And your answer will land by fire. It will be too hot for the devil to handle. Are you hearing me? That is why you must not pray like a mumu and say, Oh God, whatever you choose to do, just ah. <laughs> so pray by fire and God answers you. Are you hearing me? All right. When God releases the answer by fire, as it enters the earth realm, it manifests in various forms. Number one, voices. Number two, thunderings. Number three, lightning. And number four, earthquakes. Are you following me? Yes, please. Are you still here? What do I mean by that? I will explain it. I saw it in my Bible. I sat back and God opened my eyes. So number one, some people that ought to be the one that God will use to answer you, we start hearing voices. God will tell them, sign the letter. The guy will just sign. You will just show up for interview. Something will make him like you. So I like this guy. Give him the job. Voices. Even if he didn't hear well, another one will say, I think I concur with you. That guy is good. Voices. Are you following somebody? One day I needed some money. My wife told me the student school fees is due. And you are doing a lot of crusade. Why don't you channel the money to school fees and then let's stop the crusade? I said, no. Crusade will continue. The school fees will come. She said, ah, two days to go. I don't want my children to pursue drums. They say, children are pastor. So I told her, okay, go inside and sleep. She said, no, let's go to her. I'm not going. You're going to sleep. I want to talk to the owner of the money. And now. So I took my seat in the sitting room and I began to vibrate. From five, from 12 to five, let there. You can tell the break, you shut up. You know, there are things you discuss with God. From there, he tells you other things. <laughs> so I began to discuss with him. You know, when you're discussing with God, you don't need to make too much noise. You arrange the tongues, it goes in a filed manner. Then you add some song to it. Oh, my people are here. You know, when you are praying some prayers, you are the choir master and also the choir member. <laughs> okay. So, 
I began to talk to God. Land there. You can take a break. I will get some scriptures. I read the scriptures again. By five, I was very happy. I, okay, I was very happy. I was very happy. <laughs> so, I was, so I danced and I went to sleep. 9 a.m. My phone rings. Somebody calls me from Ibadan. I said, Some people are looking for me from Abuja. So, but they have given them my number because the original person looking for me was from South Sudan. It's wonderful. I said, It's okay. He said, I have given them my number. He's a um, military friend of mine. So I thanked him very much for giving whoever it is the number. Few minutes later, somebody called from Abuja and said, Another person will call me from South Sudan because the person was looking for me in the morning. I said, Wonderful. Few minutes later, somebody called from South Sudan and said, Is that a possible I said, Yes. He said, This morning I woke up. And God spoke to me that I should send a certain amount of money to you. He said, that money was paid by United Nations that I work with. It was just a bonus that just came in last week. I was thinking, what should I do with it? This morning, it entered into my heart that I should send it to you. Please, send your account number so I can send it to you. Eh? In a hurry. Papa, sugar. So I said, Father, let them be hearing the voice. So let the voice be talking. Within one hour, the money had downloaded. I told my wife, give me a few minutes, I'm coming. She said, well, I said, I want to go to the bank. I said, do you have it? I said, relax, now they come. So I went to the bank. I came with the money in dollars. So I came back, dropped it. I said, madam, remove the tights. Pay school fees, spend the rest. And she said, it's too much. I said, just the arranging with it. She said, where did you get it from? I told the owner to give me in the night. Are you understanding me? When I was telling the owner, the owner told the custodian, the custodian had voice in the morning. Are you hearing me? Whoever is sitting on your miracle, I command you to hear voices. I say, I command you to hear voices. Anybody, anywhere, sitting on what belongs to you, let him hear the voice of God. Let him hear voices. I release the voice of the Holy Ghost. I release the voice now. I release voices. I release voices. The louder your amen, the faster they hear it. Take your seats. Are you understanding me? You know, I told God to give me grace to teach it so nobody will be confused when I teach. I don't like preaching when they ask me, did you understand? They said, the guy tried. But I know he didn't understand how they didn't talk. <laughs> I don't like it. The guy just make noise, make noise, make noise, make noise. The guy can preach. And he try. No, don't be like that. 20 years from today, may this word still be serving you. Yeah. So voices. Then the next one is what? Thunderings. If they are stubborn when they are hearing voices and they refuse to act to the voice or answer to the voice, God sends thunder. What is thunder? Sign in the air. Sign around them. Some people push them. Do this. If the guys do this, something will be pushing the fellow. Do this now. Everything will start moving the person to do it. Are you hearing me? The third one is lightning. God will start sending lightning. Things will begin to shake the person. Because there are many times God uses humans to answer prayers. There's someone who is in custody of what you are looking for. Say, wait, wait, wait. If you are of marriageable age, your husband is already on earth. I repeat. If you are of marriageable age now, your husband is where? On earth. Except you want to marry a baby. Are you understanding me? <laughs> If you're of marriageable age and you're a man, your wife is already born. For you to be of marriageable age, you are not a baby. Am I correct? And so your, whoever you marry is already born. You know, I was, I met somebody in Rwanda two weeks ago. And I, she said she's not married. I prayed for her that. So I told her, your husband is on earth. She said, eh, maybe. I said, why did you say so? He said, because the French president married her to his teacher. I said, wonderful. So I went online. I checked. I said, it's true. The teacher was 24 years older than him. I said, Jesus Christ. She said, because uh, the guy has led another angle to marriage. I said, Chineke, man. He said, so the man may not have been born. I said, ah, 
baby. Thank God he's president. Let us leave it there. Because if he's not president, you see, if you marry somebody that is too older than you on the opposite side, if you are a man, you will need extra maturity to handle her. And that lady, you will need extra humility to handle him. Because you remember that this guy is <laughs> my junior brother times five. <laughs> and he's telling me to sit down. Bros, now nah, let your head be correct. Hey! Uh -huh. Am I correct? So that lady will need extra humility, supernatural one, that will humble her. She will just manage herself. Are you understanding me? And that man will need extra maturity to be like a man, not a boy. All right. Let us leave that matter. Let us shift to the fourth depth of action when God wants to answer is earthquake. When it goes, gets to earthquake level, it means the person that God sent to you is very stubborn. God will shake the person to his foundation to get that thing out. And as at that time, what God does is he will force it out of him and root it through another channel to get to you. Yes, and the person may go down because of it. Yes, the person can be uprooted. They must say, overturn, overturn, overturn. God will start overturning that person until the rightful person gets it in. And that may injure that fellow. Are you following me? Yes, sir. As at that time, God is pissed off. Time is gone. God is no more patient. God wants it done now. There is no more bargain. God had come. See, I was listening to Reverend Dr. Moses and Osiola preach. I got some of his tape as I was listening to him preach. He said there was a certain man who graduated from school for many years and was asking God for a job and couldn't get a job. So he got angry and decided to fast. He came to church and decided he was going to fast and pray to God answers. So he prayed without food for six nights. On the sixth night, he prayed. He prayed and cried. I began to cry and say, God, am I the only one? All my mates have gotten a job. What is my own? What did I do? What have I not done? I have lived a righteous life. What is it? He cried. Sorrow took over his heart. He prayed and cried. You know, sometimes such kind of thing happened to you. Even Hannah, Hannah, it happened to Hannah. And tears is the sixth level of intensity of prayer. When your emotions mix with your prayer. When you use your tears to explain your prayer point. Oh, not crocodile tears. The one you cry when you want pastor to give you some transport. You are not do your eye like this. So that's what I can do. <laughs> that one is by force. This one from your heart. When you say, Father. That is the only thing you can say. The next thing. <laughs> only God understands that language. <laughs> hey. oh, every one of you that have been crying in secret, receive your answer. There are people that have been crying in secret. Weeping in secret because of some matter that they cannot discuss with some people. Because when they feel discussing, it becomes newspaper. It will make headline. But do you see that sister? As fantastic as she is, she doesn't have womb. In fact, probably she fornicated and they put snake and the snake collected the womb. Hey! Say, no, doesn't have to come home. So when they see her in church, they say, sister, do. You don't know what they're saying, though. The news has spread that maybe a snake chopped the womb a long time ago when she was gallivanting about with senators. Am I correct? Right. So it's when they drop the prayer upon you, <laughs> they say, that sister is always crying. You don't know what is making her cry. Her tears speaks better English. Her tears can explain. So, so weeping is the sixth level of intensity of prayer. Uh, should I tell you the levels? Level number one is ask. Two, seek. Three, knock. Four, wrestle. Five, fast. Six, 
weep. Seven, groan. There are six, seven levels of intensity of prayer. Number one is what? Ask. Two, seek. Three, knock. Each of them in the order of their intensity. Ask is simple. Can I have Bible? They give you Bible. That's what I, but there are some things you can't ask. You can't just walk into your house and say, can I have a wife? <laughs> Even gate man will say, bros, eh, where you come from? Sir? Use the gate, please. Just use it before, 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 before I damage you. That's what they get wife. There are things you cannot just ask for. You have to seek. Am I correct? You have to check whether it's the right babe. You seek. Then there are some. When you seek and it's not coming, you have to knock. Knock and keep on knocking. There are some effort you have to add. Then that door opens. 